Hi, it's David Beard. I'm with Sage CRM, and I'm here today at Lords after having delivered a seminar to our customers. Preparing for successful CRM requires a number of things. You need to think long and hard about your business issues. What are you trying to solve? I think a lot of companies assume that they can put in a piece of software and just it will magically fix what they're trying to do. But the reality is you need to understand more about your business. So are you trying to be more efficient in your sales? Are you trying to know more about your customers in terms of data profiling? So thinking long and hard about some of those issues you're trying to solve and then coupling them with some measurements. So again, going back to our sales example, do you want to increase sales by 10%? Do you want to make sure your entire customer database has 30 more fields on it this time next year? Having those measurements in place will give you a goal to aim for and focus people on when they come to development of the system or what is it we're trying to go for. That planning will then help you phase in terms of project as well. So if you're aiming to do any number of maybe six, seven, ten things, perhaps you can start by planning out the project in terms of, well, phase one is increasing our sales by 20%, phase two is increasing our marketing uh, information by 30%. So that'll help you with the project planning as well. Along the way, you'll need some analysis because even though you think you may know about your business, one of the challenges is you probably don't have that third set of eyes or that other view of, of your own business, which could help you establish maybe some new ideas that you hadn't thought of. That's where Sage's partner channel, reseller channel, will help you. They've been involved, many of them, for over 10 years with Sage, and they have lots of experience with other customers in the way they use our software to help them achieve their business benefits. Those partners can sit down with you, around a table with you and your team, and help understand what is it you're trying to achieve, and equally how they can best use the software to make that achievement on the way. So they're very important as part of the overall planning for successful CRM. I think in the early stages of understanding your CRM need, you would need to investigate what CRM could really do for you. Now, you might have an idea that you want to improve your sales force, you perhaps need to improve your marketing function. But successful CRM could be a whole lot more. And there may be parts of your business you didn't even realize CRM could work for. So spend some time understanding capabilities of software packages, obviously. But I would advise spending even more time on thinking about your own business. What are your core competencies as a business compared to your competitors? And understand, well, if you have a certain competence, for example, in a product, how could you make that even better by putting in a CRM system? Now, some of that thinking will take time. You need to look long and hard at your staff, your products, your processes in particular, and understand where you can improve on some or leverage some of the best processes and products you may have, and then use those as business drivers towards making the software help you support and go further with what you do as a business. A lot of the time, people think CRM is one thing, and, but CRM can mean many things to many businesses. At its very entry level, it's all about good contact management. So who do you know, where do they live, what are their contact methods, and what communications have you had with them? But if you extend the CRM message further into your company, it's much more than that. It's the way you manage processes, and those processes can be anything. They could be the way you sell, the way you service a customer, the way you run processes internally in terms of delivering on a business or a project. For that, some of our larger tools like Sage CRM or SalesLogix can help you do so much more than contact management. It becomes that complete business management tool that every company should have. Oftentimes explaining the benefits of CRM to your wider company is a challenge. You might personally see the benefits within your team, but to communicate the value, the real impact it could have can be difficult. So understanding what's good is really down to thinking about your company, and what you're good at and where you perhaps are not so good at as well. And oftentimes that can be an interesting discussion to have with your colleagues. So start looking for things around where you could increase your sales activity, where you could be more efficient in some of your processes, perhaps where you need to know more about customer information that you don't already have. And take those ideas and think about real measurable benefits in terms of higher customer satisfaction perhaps, in terms of higher customer sales, and walk those ideas around with your colleagues explain to them in their own particular contexts how knowing more, dealing with a customer in a better fashion would make a difference and thus how a CRM system could help them do that. A common held misconception about CRM is it's just contact management and at its heart it is. It's knowing more about who you deal with, be they customers, prospects, suppliers, competitors and your interactions with them. 
But for many companies, particularly those in some manufacturing or construction industries, they would say, well, you know what, I don't need CRM. What do I need to know all that for? But the reality is CRM is so much more than contact management. It's about managing the way you do and interact or transact business. So a CRM system can be so much more than names and addresses. It can be keeping a track of the processes involved in winning a particular bid. Perhaps keeping track of the way a product runs through your manufacturing process. Perhaps using that system to integrate two other operational systems and bringing back relevant data that makes sense in the context of a sale or a customer. So CRM is much, much more than contact management.